Hi everyone. Welcome back to Sun Sarts. If you're new, welcome to the family. Today we are going to make some more gingerbread DIYs. So let's start with DIY number 1. For this, I'm going to make gingerbread from scratch. So I'm just taking some of this applesauce cup and some cinnamon and some white school glue and I'm taking 1 cup of uh, applesauce and the same measurement of cinnamon and I'm just mixing it together and I'm, I'm taking approximately one tablespoon of uh, uh, school glue white color and I'm just mixing all these together and I made a dough ball out of it I took a piece of baking paper and then I'm just you know pressing it down using some of this round object I just used paintbrush and I made it into a very thin layer of it and I using scale I just measured the corners and I'm just taking out this excess of this uh, gingerbread mixture and I'm going to you know ball it back and make it some more uh, gingerbread ornaments and I'm just make drawing like taking equal measurements and I'm drawing the roof of the house and I'm going to make gingerbread house you figure it out right so I'm just removing the excess of this uh, gingerbread uh, mixture and this is one piece and I just made like four piece out of it and I let it dry now I'm taking uh, one of this wooden gingerbread piece that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just you know carving out gingerbread people I think I did two of them and the rest I just hand um, you know hand drew all this star and bell now i'm drawing um christmas tree and christmas trees and star and all these are like really easy to draw and if you want to really have some template you can always use some of the christmas tree template to do it for me i think it's easy to do this so I, i'm going to freehand it and this uh, is one of the christmas tree i'm drawing i'm also going to punch a hole on top like you can see some in the star and the bell i'm going to use the end of the skewer and i'm making a hole out of this and i'm going to let it all dry for 24 hours and this is uh, another one uh, i made a circle this is an ornament i'm trying to make i just punched with one of the lid and after it dried for 24 hours this is how it's still wet the center part so i'm just going to carve out the windows now i'm going to take equal quantities of white school glue and shaving cream and i made this buff paint mixture and uh, the bottle wasn't working so i filled it in one of this uh, a cone i made a cone out of the plastic paper or you can use a block bag and i attached with the cellophane tape i started drawing around the windows around the gingerbread house doors and this is how it turned out after all the decorations are done and i'm going to work on all the four uh, home pieces and this is the gingerbread people and I'm going to let all this dry and I took one of this cardboard piece and I'm covering with the tissue paper to create the base of this gingerbread village and these are all the four home pieces I painted and then uh, some of this uh, uh, Christmas tree and the bell and star and gingerbread people and ornament and the excess of this foam i just stuffed it on one of this uh, chart paper and to create like a snow effect there this is all puffy and looks like a snow for snow there and i attached to this base of this uh, um, cardboard piece and i just i'm attaching all of this gingerbread home next to each other and this is how it looks after it's all stuck and this is the gingerbread village and it's all handmade from scratch so i'm so happy how this turned out and it smells amazing not to forget that and the cinnamon is smelling so nice and i'm also going to hang this ornaments in the christmas tree and i just wanted to lay it down i also made some of the bricks uh, like you can see the squares in front of the house and this is the final you know decoration of how the gingerbread village turned out from cinnamon and applesauce and i'm so happy how this turned out you guys so you have to let me know what you think about it
and the puff paint looks awesome and everything is completely handmade and homemade and I keep saying this I'm so happy how this turned out <laughs> part of craft your stash with the christmas decor and this is hosted by tosha from sunflower tosha diys and co-host is k from at home with k i'm going to leave the crafting channels of these two creative ladies in the description box as well as link to the playlist so please watch all of our videos and give lots of love and there will be a gift card of 25 dollars from outback steakhouse these are few of the conditions that you need to follow to win the gift card again please take some time to pause this video at this place and read all the conditions and my best wishes is with you all let's move on to diy number two for this i'm going to use this sign that i wanted to use from long time this is from dollar tree and i'm going to paint all these letters away with white chalk paint and these are some of the foam letters uh, felt letters sorry from dollar tree and i painted with red color paint on it and after it's dried i'm just taking a scale and i wanted to you know lay all these letters to come in a straight line and i'm sticking it all together which spells bakery in the base and using hot glue this is how it looks after all the letters are stuck that is gingerbread bakery and i also got two of these gingerbread people and i'm just sticking on either side of this rolling pin just like that and i just love the beautiful rolling pin in the center with the wooden grain on it and i'm also going to attach the top with this uh, uh, twine baker's twine red and white and i'm just taking generous amount of hot glue and i'm sticking one round of it on top and bottom and i also added one bow on the top to finish the look isn't this pretty i just love how this turned out and it looks so um store pot i would say <laughs> i think it turned out great so please let me know your thoughts to diy number three for this i'm going to decorate the candle and this is one of the shiny peppermint stripes uh, gift wrap paper and i just measured according to the candles circle and i'm just pulling off the top uh, sheet of this candle and uh, i'm just you know attaching this using a little bit of a mart barge and i just work my way to you know completely stick around this candle and and i worked my way to attach the other end and the both the ends match so nicely and equally so it looks like one straight uh, line of stripe you see what i mean this is what i was talking about doesn't this look like a straight peppermint piece <laughs> and i also created uh, one of this wreath out of uh, christmas greenery and also stuck some of this red and golden berries on it and i attached a bow on and i just stuck all these together with the hot glue just like you saw and this is such a cute decor to add all the collection of gingerbread diys today this could be a nice christmas gift to one of your near or dear and yeah this is another diy that i want to share and i'm so happy how this turned i hope you would like it too please let me know
let's move on to diy number four for this actually it is a hack and i'm going to use some of the stickers and decorate this back part of the shadow box and this is one of the christmas tree sticker these are all window clings and i'm just taking all the stickers that would go well with this whole uh, uh, Christmas gingerbread vignette I'm actually making inside and I took another sticker packet which has a, a nice gingerbread house and a sign Merry Christmas sign in a gingerbread village you can say and uh, some of this um, uh, cookies which are in um, snowflakes and one of this peppermints and I stuck all these together with Mod Podge and I'm also dry brushing all over this shadow box with this uh, white chalk paint and uh, this will give like a nice weary effect there and i'm sticking two of this gingerbread people on either side of the shadow box of course they have to be part of this family right so i also took uh, some of this uh, um, red uh, poinsettia and some christmas greenery i created a decoration on the top to finish the look isn't this a quick decor and you can easily make with this dollar tree stickers and dollar tree supplies and you know quickly decorate your house around if you are interested in making gingerbread decor and yeah this is one of it that i want to share with you all so please let me know your thoughts number five or hack number five and i'm going to do the same uh, you know attaching the stickers on one of this uh, uh, brown sign from dollar tree and these are like little puffy stickers and i'm actually placing all these and i'm going to stick it with uh, a hot glue and i'm just placing a joy on the top house and a christmas tree and some stars and gingerbread man and i'm also taking this uh, uh, beaded garland that i have already used for a previous project this is like going well with all the colors of gingerbread i took two of this bows one is red and white uh, buffalo plaid bow and one red sheer ribbon bow and i attached on top of this beaded garland with some christmas greenery to finish the look this is another quick hack to decorate your house with gingerbread decor and yeah this is one of it and i think it turned out great so please let me know your thoughts like to connect with me on social media these are some of the handles that you can use and now we reach the final part of the video and this is the final reveal of all the gingerbread diys today you guys i thoroughly enjoyed making all these diys and i think this gingerbread bakery sign and the gingerbread village is my favorite today and also the candle these are my favorites today i would like to hear what are your favorites i hope you enjoyed watching and working along with me if you like some of these ideas and you would and you would like to join the family i'd be more than happy if you click on the subscribe button and join and don't definitely forget to hit on the bell icon to get updated when i upload videos like this and i want to thank all of you for taking some time to watch this video and it means the world to me thank you guys thank you so much and until next time if you'd like to see some of my videos i'm going to tag some in the right corner of the screen and like i always say thank you so much for watching today Today, and I'll see you again.